that way. Uh, what about people who are already on other allopathic medicine for that matter? Can mm -hmm. Ayurveda coexist with prescription medicine in the Western world? Yeah, that's what I was very lucky when I was a student in Ayurvedic college. Mm -hmm. I knew that treasure of Ayurveda is in my family. So always I got my associated with allopathic professors. Mm -hmm. And that's how it started. And I got, I became the assistant of my allopathic professor because we get taught allopathy also. Mm -hmm. That's why I started to give benefit of Ayurveda. There are so many ways to benefit person from Ayurveda if somebody is on, on allopathic medicine, like changing diet, mm -hmm. going to bed in time, drinking good water, breathing deeper. Means I'm saying that if somebody has, somebody is on medication, it's always, you have to be cautious what herbs you are giving internally, orally to ingest. Mm -hmm. That's true. There are herb drug interaction there. Mm -hmm. But very few herbs has been tested as an interaction mm -hmm. because Ayurveda is new, is still new to this country. Mm -hmm. But possible herb drug interaction is there. You have to be very careful when somebody is on medication and you want to have, uh, you know, uh, if somebody is on a blood thinner, especially, mm -hmm. they should not do any detox herb without checking with the doctor. And whoever is prescribing that, he should know these technicalities. He should know herb drug interaction part. But that's what I have done. But there are a lot of other herbs are there, very, very pure, no problems, but always check with the doctor. And I am practicing in this kind of situation. In India also, there are a lot of concern about the herb drug interaction. Why is there a hesitancy on the part of uh, North American uh, medical professionals to adapt Ayurveda more readily and also is the American Medical Association and the Canadian Medical Association, uh, are they giving the correct recognition that you think, in your opinion, are they giving it the due recognition it deserves? It's getting there. But there is, you know, someone has to talk to them in a, in a way so that understand, you know, what is happening in Ayurveda? Mm -hmm. That yoga became a science of exercise mm -hmm. and a spiritual part got completely out. Mm -hmm. It is getting, you know, you, you know that how. Ayurveda is becoming now just like a pills and disease mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Ayurveda is a whole life science. Mm -hmm. So someone has to tell them that Ayurveda is not just a tablet mm -hmm. medicine which goes inside and fight with your drug. Mm -hmm. We have to tell them that Ayurveda is beyond that. Mm -hmm. like. Marma system or there's so many other things, simple mm -hmm. things like go to bed in time mm -hmm. or if you don't have time to go to bed in time, mm -hmm. then what to do? Mm -hmm. How to take care of that imbalance on a daily basis? Eastern mysticism and the Eastern religions and philosophy have had uh, varying impacts at different stages of life in this part of the world. Yeah. Pandit Ravi Shankar created you know, history with you know, bringing in uh, sitar music into the Western world. Mm -hmm. Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, for instance, you know, created a bit of sensation when the Beatles became his follower. Mm -hmm. So when Jane Fonda started doing yoga exercises, it, it had its own impact <coughs> as well. Mm -hmm. So the celebrity endorsements have had its own impact with respect to Eastern mysticism. Mm -hmm. Is there any such Hollywood celebrity endorsements that is taking place with respect to uh, Ayurveda? A lot of. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of Hollywood, uh, you know, producers and stars. I will not name them because it's like a confidential thing. Sure. But we have lots of them. And particularly in this transdermal marma system, the mm -hmm. good thing about that, they don't have time. They have everything in life, mm -hmm. but they don't have time. Four years ago, uh, one of the producers uh, called me and um, told me that I need your help. And they're working so hard. Mm -hmm. I told him, after seeing his pulse, I told, what do you want to give me today? Mm. Cigarette, coffee or alcohol? <laughs> he was saying, how do you know? We have to give me one thing today. <laughs> then he was thinking, you know how much we have to work? No, no, there's too much, too many things you are doing. Give me just one. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm giving a substitute. Uh -huh. Drink green tea. Uh -huh. And then when I started to give him this easy things. You know, sometimes they have a hard time to carrying pills also. Mm -hmm. And of course, all of them are some medication, cholesterol, mm -hmm. heart or liver or something, because mm -hmm. they are using so much of the senses, you know. Ayurveda is saying if you overuse or misuse your senses, 
and mind, mm. you get these problems, you know, it's very... But this transdermal murmur system, they just what they have to do, they have to get one of the very aromatic cream, mm -hmm. you know, like jasmine or rose or something like that, and apply in the, whenever they have time on the certain murmur, mm -hmm. soul and, you know, like that, and they feel energized. Mm -hmm. One of them, like, um, they're saying that I want, uh, maybe I can get um, that award, you know, uh, what you call that, uh, Oscar, Oscar Award. Uh -huh. So I need to I need to go for my facelift. Mm -hmm. I told, no, 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 no. Don't do those things. Mm -hmm. Then I gave him this kind of treatment, and he was glowing there. And because they they are getting there, mm -hmm. they are getting there. And uh, I'm just uh, getting a lot of reception because something they need easy to follow, mm -hmm. easy to follow. And sometimes what happens, like I was asking, gave me coffee. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have to tell, tell them the truth. They mm -hmm. don't want to listen to these mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. But I have to tell them the truth based on, you know, if they are convinced that how much that coffee, mm -hmm. you know, getting all three things together, mm -hmm. how they are harming their creativity. Mm -hmm. one, thing they, one thing they don't want to listen, that you are going to be less creative in five years. This no, I want to be creative for whole life. Mm -hmm. So that, I, I know how to, uh, that thing I got from my father, how to hit the point, so he's saying, oh, if I will not give today him coffee, he's just asking for coffee, he's saying, okay, this cigarette and a little bit uh, alcohol is good, only coffee, I can do it, but I want my creativity. Mm -hmm. So those skills we have to have to convince those kind of celebrity, because I know their life is so busy, no time, and, you know, coffee is like uh, giving them boost up. So those kind of skills are there in Ayurveda, and then they're appreciating now, they're getting, the, in a, particularly in California, mm -hmm. Ayurveda is booming, big, big time. There are just, they want something easy to follow. But sometimes we have to be very strict if the situation is bad, and uh, you know, they have a lot of cholesterol or something. Even mm -hmm. empathic doctors are saying, don't eat this, don't that, eat that. Mm -hmm. If they are just following a little bit of Ayurveda, in diet, very little, simple things, don't eat leftover, or don't, you know, do this and little bit, don't do too acidic food, they are getting so much benefit out of that. It's interesting, you just mentioned cholesterol, there's a high rate of incidence of heart disease in North America right now, mm -hmm. among the South Asians who have settled here, from the Indian subcontinent, mm -hmm. there's a very high degree with, with respect to the, the local Canadian American population, the average mm -hmm. population, the, mm -hmm. the ratios and the statistics reveal that they have a much higher incidence of heart disease, stroke as well. Mm -hmm. And there are many organizations like the Heart and Stroke Foundation who have now taken a keen interest with respect to propagating and, and doing preventive education. Now, Ayurveda has uh, solutions with respect to uh, high blood pressure, sugar levels to control and uh, cholesterol levels for that matter. Uh, are there are there medicines you know in Ayurveda that can tackle these kind of issues as well? Yes, again, as I told you that Ayurveda has to be practiced in whole. Mm -hmm. Researches are there on the herbs, like Gugulu has researched that it can help on cholesterol. But again, the quality of Gugulu is a question, or like that. You know, there's a lot of controversy about that. What Ayurveda is saying? Ayurveda starts from the diet, mm -hmm. because Maharshi Charak is saying that this body is the byproduct of the diet. Mm -hmm. And luckily, in Indian family, everybody knows so much Ayurveda. They have to practice it. A mm -hmm. lot of uh, Indian community is coming to see me mm -hmm. in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And they don't practice their own tradition. Mm -hmm. If they just practice their own tradition, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, very least people will have cholesterol. 